All right, quick update. So I'm at the farmer's market and I see this alpaca meat. This guy is selling alpaca meat. This is an alpaca ribeye and I'm like, I'll try that. So we're gonna grill this up, give it a taste. We're also gonna do some chicken as a plan B. Um, but you know, alpaca meat on the grill, here's how you do it. So it's going to be pretty lean, not very marbled, as you can tell. And we are just going to hit it with a little olive oil. And some Popeye. <laughs> yes, and some Popeye. A little pepper. Both sides. They grow alpacas for their fur. And then he said, every once in a while you need to thin out the herd. And so this is the thinning out of the herd, apparently. We're also going to hit it with a little bit of Chicago steak seasoning because it's good. And that's why. Oops. Or maybe a lot of Chicago steak seasoning. All right. Here goes nothing. Out to the grill. Rolling, Rob. So one of the keys with this is going to be not overcooking it. If you overcook it too much, it's going to get really tough. So we're going to kind of sear it on each side and then put it in indirect heat for a couple minutes until it's just kind of medium rare. It's a good looking piece of meat. We're also going to do some chicken. I'm going to try roasting some cauliflower. Have you ever done it? We're going to give her a try. What's on a cauliflower? Cauliflower. Special sauces? Special sauces of olive oil, salt, and pepper. All right, I'm going to flip her over. Flip over everything else while I'm at it. So how many time, How many minutes each side? We're going to do a minute, and then a minute, and then probably five or six over on the with indirect heat. All right, so it on both sides. I'm going to put it over there in indirect heat. We're going to be here for about five minutes to get it medium rare. Perfect. There we go. I'll pack the meat. We're going to let it rest for a little bit, cut it up, and we'll, uh, we'll taste it. All right, our alpaca is rested. We are going to cut into it here. Let's see what we think. Like not, pork. Super rare, <laughs> but we're gonna give it a try. So here is my first bite of alpaca. Tastes like it's chicken. Really... Tastes like chicken. No, it's really good. Is it? Yeah. It tastes kind of like pork. It does. It looks Excuse like pork. Me, right, a little um, bit. Not really. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, a little bit like that. That texture, huh? It's a little more bitter than pork, mm -hmm. uh, but it's got a great texture. And I overcooked it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So I overcooked it, and it's still really tender um, and flavorful. We're going to have our camera guy take a quick bite. Camera guy, Jeff. Mmm. It's good. Yeah, I'm just gonna slice it thinly, agilely. Alpaca couscous and pea pods. It's a beautiful thing. So, anyways, if you get a chance, get a pack of meat. In Minneapolis, you can get it at the farmer's market, or um, I think you can order online. I'll put any links that are possible. Is it expensive? Yeah. No. Mm. It's awesome. Cook well. If you'd put this in front of me and not told me what kind of meat it was, I wouldn't have thought it was anything unusual. You know, you hear alpaca meat, you wonder if it's going to taste like a lizard or something. <laughs> but it tastes it's like something in between pork and beef. But it's good. It's not unusual tasting. There's no 
gainy yes. taste or and anything. You're like saying that. you like it more as you eat it. Yeah, the more I'm eating it, the more I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Like the first bite I had was a little seemed like a little dry, but the more I that, eat it, might have just been a bad. Well, it might have just been. Yeah. Might just been that piece. Right. But no, it's good. Right. And then, of course, the cauliflower came out really well, too. Absolutely. And we don't need Plan B chicken because <laughs> the packa is awesome. It is.